As Telecom Kenya says that they are working to restore normal operations within the network following an outage that has affected its customers nationwide. In a statement, Telecom Kenya CEO Mugo Kibati says Telecom is actively engaging all stakeholders to restore the impacted services as soon as possible. However, industry experts say that more needs to be done to ensure that the telco does not go under given that critical government infrastructure is run through the network. Faisal Ahmad has more on this story. The country's third largest telco operator, Telcom Kenya, has been marred by interruptions and customer complaints after claims that Telcom failed to pay American Tower Corporation's 200 million shillings in rental fees for 723 masts. Ironically, Telcom Kenya initially owned the same masts and sold it to ATC in order to reduce the cost of operations by leasing them back. ATC is said to have switched off half of the mast leased to Telcom. The tower blackout has caused interruptions within the Telcom network. However, according to Telcom Kenya CEO Mugo Kibati, Telcom is actively engaging all stakeholders to restore the impacted services as soon as possible. He also says that Telcom and its stakeholders are also reviewing short and long-term strategic imperatives that will improve and guarantee the provision of these services to customers. However, industry experts say that the government needs to ensure that Telcom does not go under since some of the government's critical infrastructure is managed by the Telco. But as far as we're aware, they, for example, manage, uh, either manage or own quite large uh, segments of fiber optic cable. Uh, which is not just used for their own services, but also those of uh, other networks. They own switching centers um, into which uh, traffic is is routed. So they 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 carry uh, potentially they carry uh, you know the national traffic, um, and they may well also be managing the government's own communications, including satellite links. May be managing things for the Ministry of Defence. We don't know. Further, Amit says that there could be deep-rooted systemic problems at Telcom that the government needs to address before investing money into the Telco. Telcom sold off assets, the towers to ATC, supposedly some land was sold off according to the press. And uh, the idea was all that cash was supposed to be invested in the consumer-facing business. But what we can see is that either the consumer-facing business has failed to take off or costs have not been well managed, or a combination of two, because clearly that business has not gained traction. This comes as the government is scouting for strategic investor to bail out Telcom Kenya following the acquisition of the Telco last year to reduce the risk of spying on critical government information. The government is looking at 7.2 billion shillings from the national coffers to clear the Telco's debt. The financial status of Telcom Kenya is still in the red, even after the government bought back 60% stake from Helios Investment Group. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.